Officials in Los Angeles County clear out tent camps following a June U.S. Supreme Court ruling that allows communities to prohibit people from sleeping or living in public spaces, even if they have nowhere else to go. America has estimated 650,000 homeless people on a given night, according to U.S. figures. Sheridan, who didn't give his last name, is among them. Basically what happens is they have a war against the homeless, okay? He moved to California from Wyoming, but says his dreams didn't work out. He found himself without a home, but did not want to live in a shelter. So he's been living on the streets for the last five years. The reason I've never gone into a shelter, and bridge housing or whatever they call it, is because I've got grievances with the city and the county. They know that the people making the offers are not really trying to help. All they're trying to do is help their political career. After the high court ruling, California Governor Gavin Newsom signed an executive order allowing state and local officials to dismantle homeless encampments, saying his goal is to help people who can't help themselves. This is not about criminalization. What's criminal is neglecting people that are struggling and suffering and dying on our watch. That's criminal. What's criminal is people don't have restrooms. What's criminal is people literally are putting their lives at risk every single night. People are found dead, stabbed to death. In August, Newsom signed two bills to address the problem. One makes it easier to move people with no place to live into temporary housing for longer than 30 days. The other makes it easier to build additional affordable housing around the state. But some legal experts say the two measures are not enough. There aren't enough affordable housing units. There aren't enough shelter spaces. There isn't anywhere for people to go. According to a federally required count, more than 75,000 people are homeless on an average night in Los Angeles County alone. Dash, who also declined to give his last name, says the problem also affects people like him, who live and work in the city. It's, I mean, it's a really complicated issue. Uh, I mean, I've had my experience with dealing with the homeless. I've been assaulted before. Um, I've had that, the police involved. While the recent Supreme Court ruling makes it easier for communities to remove homeless people from city streets and sidewalks, the complex issue is far from resolved. For Angelina Bogdasaryan in Los Angeles, California, NRI's BOA News.